All right, so I'm gonna do the second kettlebell run for uh, Pittsburgh now. I'm gonna throw a kettlebell around now, and then I'm going to um, go for a 30-minute run. In Richmond, a 30-minute run is about four and a half, five miles, depending on the weather, the temperature of the day, whether I'm too hungover, whether I'm feeling good, you know. In Pittsburgh, however, I don't know how far I'm running. It's not nearly as far because the hills are fucking incredibly hard. And it's definitely a difficult run. Even going down the hills, I haven't had to really train on running hills in a long time. Going down them is as uh, taxing as going up them if you're really running hard. And uh, if you're throwing the brakes on too much going down the hill, it's it's hard on you too. So. It's taking some adjusting. We're going to shoot some footage. Uh, he's going to give me a GoPro camera. And um, instead of putting it on my head, he wants to put it on my ankle, which I find interesting because he's he wants some dynamic. He wants a dynamic shot. Uh, I don't know exactly what he's planning to do with it, but I, I've learned to just uh, roll with whatever he thinks with it because he seems to got a good grip on how he's going to use the footage and what he wants. Uh, so, with that being tent, I don't know if I mentioned that. So we'll do a dual angle thing, if I can. There's, there's been a hawk. I don't know if that's the hawk or not. There's a hawk I've spotted. No, that was not. Hawk or a falcon, I don't know. First time I saw him, he was on the... Uh, It's definitely not it, because the other one does that classic movie sort of... This guy sounds cool, though. But, um... There's this massive fucking bird of prey of some sort uh, that I saw in the, the church, the big Polish church. And, um... I want to find a feather of his somewhere, so I've been scouring the streets to find a feather because I've been collecting feathers for the thing. I've got two different ones and I've stuck them in a stick that I've been keeping by the door, making some sort of spirit canyon or something. I don't know what the hell it is. But I don't know if I'm going to put this down. I'm going to grab this webcamera and use it as a base so that I have a more dramatic angle here. And I don't need to use the forest with this one because now I have a reference of where this one is going as a result of it being on the screen. So that's cool. But I don't want it to be this large because I really like this um, trail effect that I'm getting out of the out of this so we'll do something like this so you can see that yeah, I really like this the smoke looks neat too and I've got my liquid which is half a lemon, half a lime, and um, I don't know, maybe half a half a cup of gin, and the rest is water and ice. That's a lemon seed. It was a little sunshine, but there's cloud cover now. I picked this spot out because it was one of the sunnier ones. I like to try to get a little suntan while I'm doing this. So I think this is going to be pretty interesting looking swinging a kettlebell with these chromatic uh, out of registration or chromatic aberration type sort of delay trails. They look really fucking awesome, I think. I'm probably not smooth. Gets in my eyeballs when I do it, or else I keep it like that. Just keep it in my mouth. It's fucking good. 
right up my nose and in my eyes. Yeah, I really like these trails. It's fun to sit here and do this. And tai Chi almost. Alright. I'll be half cocked by the time I have to run. Uh, I finish this up and run. I like to go straight from one to the other. I think um, definitely, especially good to lift and then run rather than run and lift. But it looks like the sun's back, and there it goes again. Let's there for a second. All right, here we go. Uh.
I don't know if I'm done or not. It's normally close to what I do on a good day. The other good filter on this thing is uh, this one here, Spectrum or something. Be nice if I could get those larger and without the buttons on the bottom, but it's all right. I don't mind that if it since it's free, and, but not anybody that sees these. The whole three people in the world, including myself, that pay attention to them, and, you know, perhaps they can utilize these to figure out a way to write them into a program or something. Got a pretty good sweat going. I really wanted to pump the sweat up. I, I was going to make some hot chai, but uh, it felt like drinking gin. Like I said, half a lemon squeezed in there, half a lime squeezed in there. Really thoroughly squeezed. I mean, I got everything I could out of it. And then filled it with ice, filled about halfway with gin and about halfway with water. Earlier today, see, we got, I got up a little later. I turned my mechanical white noise 
machine uh, on last night. And I, I think that's one reason I slept so long. I slept till 10. I've been getting up at 7, 8, 9, kind of going back to sleep and waking up at 9 usually. 9 or 9.30 lately. And uh, it's because I don't want to fucking sleep my day away while I'm here. There's so much so much time and so little to do here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I don't want to waste any anything just because I'm, you know, wanting to get more sleep. Because I, I can sleep all fucking day. I'm bad at that sometimes. Went out last night to the rock room again. Uh, played about two dollars worth of pinball. Didn't didn't do so well. Star Trek machine took all my money. They have a South Park machine and a, a Star Trek machine and a third machine, I don't recall, just because it, it's not playable right now, so I didn't pay attention to it. But um, Star Trek machine can it can be a game over really quickly. The South Park machine I don't like. It's a little clunkier and a, it's a slower response on the triggers and the, the ball doesn't go as fast, but like I said, with the Star Trek, and because of some of that stuff, uh, your three balls can end rather quickly if you're uh, not doing so well. And I didn't do all that well. I had one good game, I think. I haven't put my initials in it. Yeah, I'm capable of getting those kinds of scores occasionally. I put my initials in a couple pinball machines from here and there. It's hard to do, though, man. Especially if it's a, a game that's played a lot. I still think I like this one the most by far. The Spectrum one's neat, but uh, this one really accentuates the movements rather dynamic. I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I've been GoPro. There's uh, possibly some concrete action happening. Tim may make some fun project out of it. Concrete poetry or something. I don't know. But we're going to do some light concrete work. Patch up some things. Get it ready for this Saturday, which will be the screening of lymphopolysemia, I believe. I'm saying it right. Which was a proto electronic apartment festival. Might as well have been a full blown fucking Neoist apart uh, electronic apartment festival because so many Neos were in attendance. And one that goes by Monty Canson in Belarus, myself in Richmond, and then of course, tentatively the convenience here in Pittsburgh, and then. One of the heroes of Neoism, um, certainly uh, a, 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 an amazing character, Florian Cromer, uh, who gave a very good presentation. And I was the Neoist chewing gum in class and um, hopped in the shower while he was giving a show and lit, a, lit an iron on fire with rubber cement and took a shower. So that's the highlight of, of it for me, is at least my participation, where I contributed to the canon of newest icons and performance, I suppose. Very proud, quite proud of it, because it was improvised, I didn't plan it. I just kind of was like, well, what can I do to spice up my feed? Um, because at times it was uh, a little academic and lecture based, so I wanted to kind of bring a little crazy to it. I think uh, it was thoroughly enjoyed. I got some good chuckles out of it. I guess I'm going to end this feed of this screen recording. I've gathered my breath. Normally I would 
while my heart rate is still up, I would <clears throat> go right into the run. That's part of the point, so that the cardiovascular aspect of it is is extended, and I'm getting more more bang for my buck. But I'm not in any hurry right now. <laughs> Deja vu. Deja vu.